The 10 Worst Things the Joker Has Ever Done The Joker is one of the greatest villains in all of comic book history, partly because he's so insane, but also because he's so ruthless. He'll often come up with a crazy idea and will stop at nothing to pull it off, shrugging off logic or motive in favor of anarchy. He'll kill anyone for any reason, and even for no reason at all. This has led him to commit a lot of heinous acts, but some stand out above all others. Here are the 16 worst things the Joker has ever done. 1. Joker paralyzed Barbara Gordon of all the crimes the Joker has ever committed, there's one that rises above all others and has even triggered debate outside of the comic world about his mania. Written by Alan Moore and illustrated by Brian Boland, 1988's graphic novel The Killing Joke was a dark and twisted story where the Joker tried to drive Commissioner Gordon insane by shooting Barbara Gordon. The shooting left Barbara alive but paralyzed from the waist down. While the Joker put Commissioner Gordon through a twisted ride showing nude pictures of Barbara, more than implying that he assaulted her on various horrendous levels, the Commissioner managed to hold on to his sanity. By this estimation, then, the Joker ultimately failed, but Barbara Gordon's paralysis remained, leaving her unable to continue as Batgirl. She eventually used her computer hacking ability to become the secret crime fighter Oracle and the new 52 reboot wreck in her paralysis, but the focused cruelty and intimate viciousness of the attack brought up debates even outside the comic book community on whether the Joker, as a character, went too far. 2. Joker ate China Emperor Joker eats China in 2000, Superman found himself in a bizarre and twisted world where his enemies were the heroes and the heroes were the villains. Created by Jeff Loeb, Joe Kelly, J.M. Demetes and Mark Schultz, the nine-issue crossover came to be known as Superman, Emperor Joker, where the Joker stole the reality-altering powers of Mr. Mxizpluk. The Joker used his godlike powers to make twisted versions of the superheroes, kill and resurrect Batman daily, and oh yeah, eat China. That's right, the Joker ate the entire population of China, which is home to over a billion people. The worst part is that he just did it so he could make a joke about Chinese food. As far as body count, it's hard to top that one. The only thing that keeps it from being number one is the fact that not everything Emperor Joker did was reversed, so it never actually happened. But the memory of Mountains of Skull still lingers for many fans, as does the fact that we all know the horrors of which Joker is capable, given enough power. 3. Joker destroyed Superman and Injustice, Gods Among Us is a 2013 fighting game that pitted DC heroes and villains against each other, transcending the game and becoming a massive hit as its own comic. In the game, the characters from the mainstream DC universe crossed over into an alternate reality where Superman and the Justice League had imposed totalitarian rule. The event that pushed Superman over the edge was caused by none other than the Joker. In the Injustice comic book, it explained how the Joker stole a nuclear submarine and dosed Superman with a kryptonite-laced version of the Scarecrow's fear gas. The gas made Superman see and fight his enemy Doomsday, only to discover he really fought his pregnant wife, Lois Lane. Even worse, her death triggered the detonation of a nuclear bomb in Metropolis. The shock of losing Lois in Metropolis caused Superman to kill the Joker and take over the world, which was what Joker wanted in his twisted way all along. 4. Joker tried to copyright fish. In 1978, Detective Comics No. 475, written by Steve Englehart, penciled by Marshall Rogers, colored by Jerry Serp, the Joker committed one of his most bizarre crimes ever. When Gotham City discovered fish in the harbor that had a ghoulish smile, the Joker announced that he wanted to copyright them, only to be told that fish couldn't be copyrighted. The Joker went on to kill city officials to try to force them to meet his demands, but since they literally could not, a lot of people died. 
It's the senselessness of these murders that ranks it so high on the list. The Joker didn't target anyone who could actually let him copyright the Joker fish, making the whole exercise just an act of torture, and another example of how the Joker's actions seem so meaningless. This story was later adapted into an amazing, but kid-friendly, episode of Batman, the animated series in 1993. 5. Joker gave away poisoned cotton candy. He is we've seen before, the Joker doesn't shy away from killing anyone, and that includes children. Let's go back to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns for another moment, where the Joker had executed his final plan of convincing the world he was sane enough to show up on a late night talk show, only to poison everyone in the room and make his escape. From there, the Joker set up a booth at the county fair to hand out free, but poisoned, cotton candy to 16 Cub Scouts, killing them all. Killing hundreds of people in a TV studio was a terrible thing to do and should have been really high on the list, but somehow the poisoning of children, Cub Scouts, no less, was much more horrifying. Imagining the joy on the kids' faces, quickly turning to agony and horror is enough to turn your stomach. Batman stopped the Joker from killing more with a batarang to the eye, but not in time to save all the kids of Gotham. 6. Joker Poison Beauty Product Up until the 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie, the Joker was best remembered by the public as the chortling prankster played by Cesar Romero in the 1966 TV series. Jack Nicholson quickly erased those memories with his twisted portrayal of a homicidal Joker with a permanent smile, and he did some pretty horrific things to get there. One of the worst had to be his contamination of hygiene products in Gotham City with a chemical toxin called Smilex. The fact that the Joker killed people with beauty products was all part of his ugly obsession with his own disfigurement. Since no one knew which items had been poisoned, everyone just stopped using them. That left the city too afraid to put on makeup or even deodorant. His transformation into a hideous clown made him decide to make everyone else as ugly as he was, but in the end, he showed the truly ugliest one was himself. 7. Joker blew up a school In 2009, Kevin Smith Walt Flanagan and Sandra Hope collaborated on Batman, Cacophony, a three-issue series about a battle between Batman, the Joker and Maxi Zeus. In the series, the Greek madman Maxi Zeus was combining the Joker's venom with ecstasy to create a new street drug called Chuckles. The Joker didn't take kindly to his deadly poison, being used by partying kids, and wanted it stopped, going so far as starting a gang war. To make his point, the Joker met with Maxi Zeus and blew up a school full of kids. 8. Joker rained broken glass on Gotham Written by Michael Green and penciled by Denise Cowan, Batman Confidential No. 11 in 2008 showed one of the Joker's most brutal and vicious crimes. The Joker was free and thinking how he could make more people like him. After deciding Gotham needed a dose of medicine, he sent a blimp over the city and blew it up, but it wasn't filled with explosives. It was filled with broken glass tainted with his Joker venom, raining shards onto the terrified city. It wasn't the first time the Joker had killed with his poison that forces a grisly smile on its victims, but it seemed more horrific to be trapped in a rain of broken glass than sprayed with a squirting flower on the lapel. The only problem was that Batman was holed up in the hospital at the bedside of his girlfriend, Lorna Shore. With all the people he killed, the Joker was really just trying to get Batman's attention and didn't even succeed. 9. Joker killed 19 police In the new 52 reboot of the DC Universe, the Joker had arranged to have his face cut off and disappeared for a year. In the 2012 story, Arc Death of the Family, by writer Scott Snyder, drawn primarily by Greg Capullo, the Joker returned in the worst way. As Commissioner Gordon worked with his police, a figure appeared in the door of the station that he immediately recognized as the Joker, just as the lights went out. As Gordon frantically tried to restore the lights and find the Joker, the madman went through the station telling jokes while snapping necks. 
By the time the lights came back on, Gordon huddled in the police station alone, surrounded by 19 dead bodies. The deaths of the police officers were just the beginning of the Joker's reign of terror, and he had much worse in store for Batman and his team. But these murders stood out. He took on the protectors of Gotham and showed how none of them could stop him. 10. Joker killed Gordon's wives. Vera Essen had a long history with Commissioner Gordon, starting in 1987's Batman No. 405, when she had a brief affair with him. She began dating him after Gordon's divorce, and he married her shortly after. Unfortunately, that's when the Joker stepped in to end their happiness. In Detective Comics No. 741, written by Devin Grayson and Greg Rocca, penciled by Dale Eglisham and Damian Scott in 2000, the Joker kidnapped dozens of babies and hid them in the basement of the Gotham police station. When Essen pulled a gun on the Joker, he tossed a baby at her. We repeat, he threw a baby at her. When she caught the baby, he shot her in the head and left her with the baby crawling over her bloody corpse. As messed up as it was to use a baby to kill someone, and it was, it was who he killed that makes the death so horrible. The Joker killing Gordon's wife threw the commissioner into a rage that made him shoot the clown in the leg. It wasn't even close to making up for the pain the Joker caused, but he had a good laugh 